Alright, so Embark released the preview to the new game mode called Attack and Defend, and I'll say off the rip that these developers are taking a massive risk, and I'm all for it. The game is in a fragile state right now, where, you know, people are complaining about everything, and I've actually stopped reading comments outside of my community, because no matter what Embark do, people will, you know, be here to try and destroy them and their vision. However, as you probably saw with the new game mode, this is a one life, no heal, attack and defend scenario. Personally, you guys know I came from Counter-Strike Source, so this area is kind of my expertise because it's the most time I've spent in any game mode, and Embark are really proving that they have no fear because things are about to get interesting. At the moment, most players in this game are used to that high octane, spawn die, spawn die mode, where, you know, they don't really need to value their character's life and make smart decisions. It's very reactive and mistakes aren't as punishing. However, with this new attack and defend game mode, players are not really used to this scenario. So I think a good question to ask is why did Embark add this mode in the first place? Well, firstly, I believe that Embark's intentions are to work on this mode for the long run and will continue to develop this mode alongside the game and obviously the other modes that it comes with. Now, I've predicted a lot about player behavior specifically in this channel and uh, pay attention to what I'm about to say next. What I think is going to happen is, is that some people will basically play this mode with that current play style that they know now, and they will get absolutely decimated. They'll probably complain on social media, say the game is going to die like they have been, and, you know, try to convince everyone that the world is ending for this game. Then there's the players who will obviously adapt um, or have experience already in these modes like myself, you know. We may be frustrated in the beginning with some things, um, because Embark have essentially taken such a concrete mode where balance is very important and essentially landed it into the realm where balance is currently in question for this game, right? I mean, the maps, for example, they're not as suited to game modes like this typically um, because obviously, you know, you have, for example, a lot of verticality, right? So think about, you know, invis light snipers on defense, for example. You know, th there's a lot of adaption that will need to take place. I'm not saying that it will fail. I'm just saying it's very unique in the attack and defense game mode secondly obviously they added this game mode in to mix up with what we currently have now right it's it's almost an experiment a dive into the unknown to test the waters of how far the finals can be pushed and i know you might be upset that there isn't another mode right now that you might want to see but that doesn't mean the mode that you want isn't going to arrive eventually down the line okay um you know for example we now all kind of know that capture the flag was a popular choice that people wanted to see and uh, another one obviously now uh, from speaking to you guys in the comments was the rush game mode from other battlefield titles Obviously, yes, this type of mode is more competitive focused, but again, that doesn't really mean sweaty competitive, if that makes sense. Like, one life, no heals, will actually benefit the solo player a lot, uh, obviously, depending on how, you know, you play it. But I still think that this is a really nice spot for those that enjoy playing the game casually. You have a lot of gadgets to kind of assist in you making plays. Um, you know, you're not going to get an elimination and then they get instantly revived and then, you know, it's a 2v1 against you. You're going to have a lot of leeway if you're playing it very smart. And also, you're not going to, you know, be third party by another team. I mean, honestly, I didn't read much about, you know, what the community thinks right now. So if, you know, you have any thoughts or opinions that you want to share, maybe you want to share the hype with me in the, in the comment section. Um, you guys know that I do try and reply to all of you. So, you know, leave a comment down below. However, let's talk about what we actually saw in the trailer, just so me and you can basically get a better understanding of what's going on and what we'll kind of expect on Thursday. So we have a terminal, right? Which is basically similar to like a site in game, uh, you know, like Rainbow Six, Val, kind of right, things like that. Um, something you can question is, is how many of these terminals will there be, right? Um, I did watch the trailer quite in depth, but kind of going back for it a few times, um, the only thing I noticed was in this scene right here, we only saw three out of the five players setting up defenses. So, I mean, my question, you know, right now is, you know, does that mean that there are two players um, going somewhere else to hold off, you know, another um, terminal, um, you know, to protect the attackers from going into them. So instead of the spike or C4 in, in other games, we actually have uh, what's called a decryption key. I think, you know, for my sense, I'm just going to call it a key, uh, which is used to transport to the vaults instead. Um, the strange thing, as I noticed, right, is um, you can actually just throw it into the terminal. Um, and obviously that's, that's really different compared to, you know, where you actually have to plant the device or like kind of spend time setting that device up. Um, you know, so it's just, it's, it's kind of unique and interesting um, that Embark went in that direction instead. And I think it's kind of like a cool question to maybe ask them uh, down the line if I ever did get a chance to, you know, talk to the devs uh, for a video. So a couple of concerns from me is really, you know, how crazy you can kind of mess up the attackers, right? Because you guys know, hey, the goo gun exists, right? Uh, and if you remember how I run heavy, I think that I'm going to have a lot of fun 
throwing off players, um, you know, manipulating the, the terminal into spots where it's kind of hard to basically insert the key. I think that even though this does feel like a competitive game mode overall, um, it does have a lot of casual elements to it, which are mainly for fun. Um, so obviously I'll be ready to experiment as always. We also get a best of seven rounds, which basically means the first team to reach four rounds win. Um, so I'm going to assume that it's kind of three rounds for the attackers. And then at halftime, uh, you basically play out the rest on defense until four rounds are scored, uh, which I'm going to assume is an overtime at 3-3. Again, we haven't really heard the logistics of that. I'm kind of actually excited to see how the overtime works in this game, right? Because, you know, Embar can make the overtime pretty damn unique. Um, but I do hope that it does allow a team in overtime to try out attacking and defending until there's a victor. Um, because, you know, having to just simply play an extra round on, you know, defense, for example, to decide the whole thing, in my opinion, isn't great. I think swapping between the two would be more fun. Either way, I was going to do a new news video, um, but obviously this mode recently has taken over a lot of time recently, so if you enjoy that, I'm sorry. That will be back soon. Um, however, the mode is releasing Thursday, okay? I'm going to be streaming it, so I hope to see you there in the chat uh, where we can obviously hang out. Maybe we can play some games together as well. I'll open up the lobby for you. You can add me as a friend on uh, in-game, in and we'll, we'll do a couple of matches. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you, you guys there if you want to join me. Uh, it's about to be very, very interesting, I'll tell you that. However, I'm in it for the long run, and I hope you are too. My name is Mythics, and I'll see you on the podium.